When you think about data storage and the future of it, you want something that's small, powerful, cheap. The compression has to be great, but I bet you weren't thinking of cassette tapes. That is where Sony is taking its latest uh, storage. They have new technology that would be able to store 185 terabytes worth of data onto a tape. It's have where we computing started. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. 1987 Chevy Cavalier. Yeah, yeah. This is back to <laughs> when my mother was a coder. Yeah. And was doing this kind of sh stuff. It's very funny to me because you see a movie like uh, The Italian Job where uh -huh. a big portion of the movie is reprogramming uh, the city's lights with uh, a giant tape and switching it out at the computer center. And the fact that we're coming back to technology that we view as hokey and ancient is very funny to me, but it is cheaper and it stores huge, huge amounts of data. We're talking about 185 terabytes. Mm -hmm. Like, like That's a ridiculous amount. That's how, that's how many episodes of My Little Pony is that? It's many because it's 3,700 yeah. <laughs> Blu-ray discs. Um, and I, I just, that's a ton and, but I think ultimately tapes like this, the readers are probably expensive. It's not a format that's going to get widely adopted. Well, so it's going to be for very specific enterprises. I think governments will want this. I think uh, large conglomerations will want to back up data farms That is this. a good point. Sony said they would like to pursue a commercial uh, outlet for this, but they likely will not. It will almost certainly be used to back up huge volumes and not really on the consumer level for us. Uh, in short, this kind of, the technology of, the technology involves shrinking the microscopic uh, magnetic particles. They're about each 7.7 .7 nanometers wide. You could fit 10 million of those in a centimeter. So that's basically how it works. However, you brought up the point, get a big magnet, where's mm -hmm. your data? Exactly. Um, I think if you have giant storage facilities of this data on cassette tapes, it then if they're actively used and they're actively used by the people that would be going after something like this, the move towards solid state does sort of defend our data a little bit mm -hmm. more, this is, you have a very easily accessible way of corrupting uh, a lot of data at one time. Plus, to access that data, you're going to need to like eject it and flip it over and turn it around or rewind the whole way. That's also a yeah. good point. It's not yeah. as fast as what we would have maybe on a flash drive or, or even yeah. an external hard drive. And also, if you play it backwards, uh, are you going to get some secret spooky message? Um, yeah, I think you cracked the case wide open. And then it's going to get all garbled if it gets caught in the tape deck. But think about the scary movies that could result from this <laughs> premise. Exactly. Um, I, I still am afraid to plug my TV in thanks to the ring. Um, Remember in the 90s when they had uh, TV premises where one floppy disk could upset the whole system of like the whole police criminal website, government criminal and government? And um, I don't know what you're talking about. I've hacked the Gibson lady. Um, <laughs> And I went through that cool, like the visualizations in computer computer based entertainment is mm -hmm. great. Especially the movie Hackers. Yes, especially the movie Hackers, Johnny Mnemonic, which yes. used the idea of genetic memory, which is where it's very funny to see us go go uh, back uh, technologically and say this is where data is going. When you know you have DNA getting recombined, and futurists are looking towards genetically enhancing our memory and using the storage that they feel people don't use. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 it'll be really fascinating to see the future of data memory because there are a lot of avenues available now. Yeah, but I, it's just odd that, or it's interesting rather, that uh, we went, we turned to tapes and magnetic uh, data compressing. Well, it also, you know, because we think we we often think of oh the cloud the it's the much mythical more cloud because this is tape is easy to make and it's it, honestly there are a lot of people still making this and where's it going? There mm -hmm. are still cassette tape manufacturer, like producing magnetic tape for recording. So of course they're going to try to figure out, all right, we developed this stuff, our business model is going to get lost if we keep giving up all of this space to hard drives. This is really a company saying, guys, we got all these resources specifically for this type of thing. We got to figure out how to make this marketable to someone or we have no reason to keep all these people. I think it's just cool to see like the bounds with which we can stretch the technology we already have. Mm -hmm. Like to imagine that we'd be able to get, you know, 140 gigabytes per square inch on magnetic tape is amazing to me. What do you think of Sony's new super storage capable cassette tape? Would you ever use one if you could? Probably can't. Uh, let us know what you think below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.